Had Bathsheba in his quarters. Mm. I'm not who let Eve taste the fruit of death. I'm dead sinner. I deserve death along with all these liars and oh, This is such good. This is preaching, man. This is preaching here. How cool is it? We get to listen to some Lecrae in response to Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick put Lecrae in his song on a verse, and Lecrae's come out with Ain't Watching the Party Die. Kendrick Lamar response. Can't wait to see this without further ado. This is a mental health professional's dream right here. We get to listen to Lecrae, who I love, and uh, his response to Kendrick. <laughs> wrestling like should i write a verse <laughs> the culture got enough clout chasing vultures out here trying to prove they worth they need attention they can't imagine me not trying to make myself look bigger off of this kendrick mention <laughs> this is so good how he starts out just trying to figure out should i do it should i not should i say anything with kendrick putting me in his song or should i just leave it alone they can't imagine me they, they can't imagine me just leaving this alone Oh, man. Can't imagine me not trying to make myself look bigger off this. I mean, it's a perfect opportunity for him. But it's like everybody thinks he's just going to jump on this. But let's see how he jumps on it. I can't imagine his position. Before I got on my mission, I was a party victim. I bought the party favors. I used my trauma, my single mama, to justify mm. commas to pay the devil's wages. Woo! Huh. It probably went over their heads. I think it's interesting because I haven't seen a whole lot of Lecrae's background and what happened, but I do feel like I saw something where he got into kind of the Hollywood or the, the lifestyle and the dark side of what can happen in this industry and then backed himself out of it. I feel like he got up because when you get in that industry, I think you get introduced to a lot of things that can be really, really dark. And he... I, I would love to hear his story. I bought the party favors. I used my trauma, my single mama, to justify commas, to pay the devil's wages. See, to get paid, you sign a deal with the devil. To get paid, to get the commas, to get the zeros, you have to pay the devil. Your payment comes due. It's not a free ride. And that's going to come with selling your soul and leaving all beliefs, especially for Lecrae as a Christian, to leave your beliefs behind. You can't believe one thing and profess one thing and then do another and call them the same. Promise to pay the devil's wages. Woo! Huh. That probably went over their heads. Basically what I said is I was government fed. Bread for doing time in the feds, but Jesus bled. Instead of putting mm. dents in their head, he turned his. Ah. My cup runneth over with nonsense. Ah. Their hearts grow colder. They love to do evil. They burn their conscience. I want the dealer's head who gave my cousin fentanyl. Oh, wow. Look at all this. It, the point to Jesus is he didn't come bashing heads in. He didn't come destroying people. He turned heads. Jesus was friends with every vagrant, sinner, prostitute, tax collector there was. You know why? Because he was real and he was loving. He didn't agree with what they did, and he told them that. That's not the way to live. That's not my father's way. But he accepted them, and he said, follow me. Just spend time with me. Be with me. But he didn't bash heads in. He turned over tables at the temple. He didn't beat people up. He said, this is a house of worship. He didn't go turning over tables in people's houses and living rooms. And no, it was at the temple where it's worship time. And then he says, my cup runneth over with nonsense. I'm speaking nonsense. Just wasn't sure where I was. Well, I knew where I was, just wasn't in the right place. Their hearts grow colder. They love to do evil. They burn their conscience. Just get rid of your conscience. 
don't think about it anymore. Don't worry about it. It'll be okay. I want the dealer's head who gave my cousin fentanyl. They love to do evil. They burn their conscience. I want the dealer's head who gave my cousin fentanyl. Labels exploiting rapping addicts. Man, I'm sick of y'all. My daddy ran with Compton Chris. My uncle's Pyro. Stuck in the middle of this madness. What should I choose? I should be choosing between Howard and Hampton. I love the people that I ran with, but look at the damage. You want me to put you on, but I know you still with the scamming. Okay. Man, this is... Look, it... it I don't know his history, but it sounds like he's come from a place where he could easily be stuck in a bad way. My daddy ran with Compton Chris, my uncle's Pyru. Stuck in the middle of this madness. What should I choose? That's the hardest part. It's easier to choose what you've been taught. It's easier to choose what you've been shown. But when it comes to mental health, what you have to do when you sit in my office is where do you want to go? Who do you want to be? Because if you want the quick money, if you want the fast buck, if you want the attention, if you want the fame, and you're ready to sell whatever it is to get that, then be ready to sell your soul and be ready to sell your conscience. You've got to turn it off. You can't think about it anymore. But when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're going to realize, I don't like myself and I don't like what I'm doing. So when you choose to be a better person in life, to love people, to be honest, to have good character, to have integrity, you have to choose... A different path. Life's a series of choices over time, as my wife says. You don't just get somewhere by one choice. It's a series of choices. If you want to get somewhere else, you got to make different choices. And what that means is recognize what you've been taught and shown growing up as normal that might not be so normal, y'all. I'm sick of y'all. My daddy ran with Compton Chris, my uncle's Pyro. Stuck in the middle of this madness, what should I choose? I should be choosing between Howard and Hampton. I love the people that I ran with, but look at the damage. Yeah. You want me to put you on, but I know you still with the scamming. Mm. A crooked doctor took advantage and hooked me on Xanax. Uh. This killer sitting in a cell for taking somebody innocent. And they don't even feel no remorse. The worst ignorance. But when I, I take a care. look in the mirror, the blood of Uriah's on my hands Cause I'm that killer who had Bathsheba in his quarters mm. I'm that who let Eve taste the fruit of death I'm dead sinner, I deserve death Along with all these liars and oh, This is such good, this is preaching man, this is preaching here We had Bathsheba in his quarters Just ready, right? Bathsheba, wasn't that the one that um, David, King David had killed her husband so that he or had him killed out on the battlefield, I think, so that he could be with her because he adored her and thought she was beautiful. So he wanted to be with her. King David, who had God's heart and favor, still did a lot of wrong things, but always found his way back to God. I am the one who had Bathsheba in his quarters. I'm the one who's done those things. He's owning it. He's being transparent. I'm that, I'm that, he didn't even cuss. He didn't even cuss. Who let Eve taste the fruit of death. And remember that when you talk about the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve in there eating that apple. Uh, Eve ate the apple. She's the one that ate the apple. But you know who let her? You know who wasn't there to watch her? He wasn't there. You know who wasn't there to protect her? It was Adam. It's man. And I'm on guys all the time about this. You have to be there to protect that woman so she doesn't do that. I'm that sinner. I deserve death along with these liars and hypocrites. Oh, he's preaching about himself and what he's done and where he's been and not judging others. It's saying this is me. My hands, cause I'm that killer who had Bathsheba in his quarters. I'm that who let Eve taste the fruit of death. I'm dead sinner. I deserve death along with all these liars and hypocrites. Yep. Fake tough rappers who fabricate their predicaments. Fake deep guru pushing voodoo on the people. Telling folks that my God ain't real. That's real evil. Huh. I wonder what Lecrae would do. Uh -huh. Hopefully seek the hand of God and tell him that he's... Oh, man. This, I want you to hear this. Number one, as a therapist, a mental health professional, but number two, as a Christian, who I am. And and I don't, I don't profess anybody has to do what I do or believe what I believe. That's not what it's about. It's about what I know has worked for me. I know for sure there's a God because I have screwed up so many things in my life that the life I have today could not have turned out without there being a God. I've done it wrong myself a lot of the times. I wonder what Lecrae would do. Hopefully seek the hand of God and tell him that he's incapable. Incapable? Huh. I wonder what Lecrae would do. Hopefully seek the hand of God and tell him that he's incapable. But truthfully, I'm nobody to judge. My good deeds are... When you tell people, like, this is my thing of powerlessness. When you tell people that you can't be God, that's what 12-step programs are founded on. Like... You surrender yourself. You're powerless to the drug or the substance or whatever you're addicted to. 
You're not capable of being God. You can't do that. When you step in front of God and say, it's not me, it's you. I'm powerless. I have nothing. You have everything. I come on bended knee. That's what, I think that's what he's talking about is I hopefully I would seek the hand of God and tell him that he's incapable. That, that Lecrae is incapable. He can't be that anymore. Love to know what his Tell him that he's incapable. But truthfully, I'm nobody to judge. My good deeds are like some period blood. Stains on a dirty rug. Mm. All I can offer them is Jesus' love. I know it sounds foolish to many. Like, really? That's all you got for us? Yeah. The cross <laughs> is foolish to the perishing. The world will call me weak and the saints will say I embarrass them. I walk the valleys full of evil. I'm aware of it. I can't condemn the world and burn all of the heretics. Love is patient, so I'm trusting in the narrative. And Christ ain't watched the party die. He died instead of it. You see that? I can't condemn the world and burn all of the heretics. You, you can't speak both ways here. Love is patient. I'm trusting in the narrative. And Christ ain't watching the party die. He died instead of it. He died so we don't have to struggle and suffer. But I love this part here. Um, the cross is foolish to the perishing. The people who are living a life away to me, away from God, who are saying, it's just my world, this is what I do. I'm not worried about that. This, this cross is foolish. Jesus is foolish to them. And it's okay. Like, that's your choice. So you don't have to profess that onto people and try to force people to go towards that. I just know that I'm stronger with it than I am without it. But I love that line. The cross is foolish to the perishing. And when you have faith, and as a therapist, I don't, I don't profess my religion, my Christianity to people in my office. I have Muslim people, Jewish, atheists, all kinds of people that come into my office because they want a better life. They want to feel better. They want mental health. The point to that is, my faith makes me a better therapist. And so what I want to do is love people, support people, and be honest with people and let you know you need to find the best you. You need to find out what works for you. But if you've never tried it, if you've never tried the faith, I think that's what Lecrae is saying, I want to try it. Because if all you're doing is putting it down and you haven't actually lived it, then, and that's not living what your parents taught you or what people preach to you growing up. It's you deciding then you might want to look at Saints will say I embarrass them. I walk the valleys full of evil. I'm aware of it. I can't condemn the world and burn all of the heretics. Love is patient, so I'm trusting in the narrative. And Christ ain't watched the party die. He died instead of it. Yep. Boy, short and sweet, but so deep. So much depth in this for Lecrae. Thank you, Lecrae, for putting this out there because I think this is exactly what people need to see. And I think that's what Kendrick Lamar, to me, would point to is a, a guy with faith, a guy who's been there, a guy who's been in the darkness and hopefully um, is living that example of who he knows he can be today. Remember, it's not real therapy, just Tom, break it down, lyrics to music. If you want to help, check the links in the description. Leave your comments and never forget... Mental Health Matters. See you on the next Reaction Therapy.